Welcome to the ACMG Knowledge Nugget on newborn screening for medium chain ACL-CoA dehydrogenase or MCAD deficiency. This activity is intended for educational purposes only. Neither I nor the planning committee have any disclosures. This session is approved for 0.25 CME. To obtain CMEs for this activity, you will need to pass the quiz with a score of at least 80% and complete the evaluation. This session is a companion to the MCAD Deficiency Act Sheet, which is freely available at www.acmg.net backslash A-C-T. Act sheets are intended to be immediate resources for providers who encounter positive newborn screening results. Please keep in mind that a newborn screening result is just the first step in the diagnostic process. Further testing and evaluations are needed to determine if the newborn has the disease, a true positive result, or is unaffected, a false positive result. The act sheets are intended to provide an overview of the diseases identified by newborn screening and clear next steps for the management of a positive newborn screening result. This session will cover background information on MCAD deficiency, including clinical features and the underlying genetic cause, actions a primary care provider needs to take upon receiving a screen positive test result for MCAD deficiency, clinical considerations, and supplemental resources. MCAD deficiency is a fatty acid oxidation disorder caused by pathogenic variants found in the ACADM gene, which leads to a disruption in fatty acid breakdown. This results in characteristic elevations of medium chain acyl carnitines. Presentation in the neonatal period can occur with decreased caloric intake, often related to breastfeeding with insufficient milk production and or with periods of prolonged fasting. Otherwise, signs of MCAD deficiency typically appear anywhere from shortly after birth to early childhood. Early symptoms can include vomiting, lethargy, poor feeding, and low blood sugar. Metabolic crises related to MCAD deficiency can be triggered by periods of fasting, by illnesses such as viral infections, and or during periods of increased energy demands when energy production relies increasingly on fat metabolism. MCAD deficiency is inherited in an autosomal recessive manner, meaning that only infants with a pathogenic variant in both of their ACADM genes will be affected. Parents with a child with MCAD deficiency are carriers and are unaffected, but have a 25% recurrence risk with any future children they have together. All states in the United States provide newborn screening for MCAD deficiency. A good resource for checking a state's newborn screening panel is the newbornscreening.hrsa.gov website. Screening for MCAD deficiency is performed by examining levels of medium chain acyl carnitines, which are elevated in individuals with MCAD deficiency. Now that you have an understanding of what MCAD deficiency is, Let's talk about what to do if you have a patient screen positive for MCAD deficiency during newborn screening. You will need to take the following actions. First, contact the family and do the following. Inform them of the newborn screening result and that more testing is needed to determine if their child does or does not have the disease. Ascertain clinical status paying close attention to signs like hypoglycemia, poor feeding, lethargy, and hypotonia. If any of these signs are present, or if the newborn is ill, facilitate transport to a hospital 
for further treatment in consultation with a metabolic specialist. Provide the family with basic information about MCAD deficiency. Second, take a family history. Because MCAD deficiency is inherited in an autosomal recessive manner, it is common for there to be no known family history of MCAD deficiency. Third, arrange an immediate referral to an MCAD deficiency specialist for genetic counseling, a comprehensive clinical evaluation, and discussion of the treatment plan. The specialist should be a pediatric geneticist. The clinical evaluation should include a comprehensive physical assessment by an experienced MCAD deficiency specialist. Fourth, working with the appropriate specialist, take steps to ensure biochemical and or molecular confirmation of the newborn screening result. Confirmatory testing includes plasma acylcarnitine analysis, urine organic acids, and ACADM gene sequencing. Fifth, report the final diagnostic outcome back to your state newborn screening program. MCAD deficiency is primarily treated through the avoidance of fasting, a special diet, and carnitine supplementation. As you continue to care for your patient with a positive newborn screen for MCAD deficiency, it is likely additional questions and concerns will come up. Here are some resources where you can obtain information on MCAD deficiency, appropriate laboratories and tests, and genetic specialists. Before we end today's session, let's have a quick review. First, MCAD deficiency is a serious condition and identification of affected individuals is essential for administration of early life-saving treatment. Second, act sheets are freely available on the ACMG website to review in the event of a screen positive result. In addition to MCAD deficiency, act sheets are available for many other conditions that can be identified through newborn screening.